all the world a stage and all the men and women merely players. They have their exits and their entrances, and one man in his time plays many parts, his acts being seven ages. If that's mewling and puking in his last song, and then the whining schoolboy with his satin and shining morning face, creeping like a snail, unwillingly to school. And then the lover, sighing like furnace with a woeful ballad made to his mistress's eyebrow. And then a soldier full of strange oats. And bearded like the pard. Jealous in honour, sudden and quick in quarrel. Seeking the bubble reputation even in the cannon's mouth. And then the justice in fair round belly with good cape on line. With eyes severe and beard of formal cut. Full of wise saws and modern instances. And so he plays his part. The sixth age shifts. Into the lean slippered pantaloon. With spectacles on nose and couch on side. His youthful hose well saved. A world too wide for his shrunk shank. And his big manly voice turning again towards childish treble. Pipes and whistles in his sound. The last scene of all that ends this strange, eventful history is second childishness. And mere oblivion. Sans teeth. Sans eyes. Sans taste. Sans everything.